their mentality is stuck on what their mentality is stuck on there's no switching it and that's why they say don't save her she don't want to be saved it's that simple she don't want to be safe she's a hoe but a good girl you can save her you can help her you can show her that there's a different side to all men that she's been looking at and saying that they're the same but she's still been trying a little bit at least giving whatever she has left the way you end up acting thinking that she's a hoe you treat her like the way i've been saying treat these hoes she ends up getting broken even more What it do, what is up, my viewers, baddies, and my bad man, fellas. It is your girl, Bosana, and welcome, Be Boss RB. So, as you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be talking about good girl versus hoes. Now, like, this video is very, very important. I wish I did it a lot sooner because at this point, I'm noticing that people are really putting every single woman in the same category, and I cannot blame any of you guys because in my video, I don't always let you guys know this is these type of girls. I kind of make it seem like it's every single girl, but for me, I would think like some people won't think that at least because. I'm still talking about girls and I'm a woman myself. I'm a girl myself, right? So I would think like, unless you guys are looking at me and you're looking like, oh, you're just like these girls, then okay, so be it. But you know, I, I just want to make it clear. Like I went through some of these experiences. That's why it's so easy for me to explain. Like that's one of the main things. But where I'm at right now with the, as far as maturity level and being in a really, really happy relationship, knowing how I should be treated and all the experiences of different people, it's like you really, really learn. Not even people you're talking to or you're with, but you just meet so many different characteristics and you really, really learn about human nature, woman nature, all that good stuff that is all about society, the way things run in this world, right? So I decided to obviously do this video now just because I'm noticing like, yeah, girls are starting to comment. They're saying, you know, this is a girl that's just like this, just like that. And this is not true, da, da, da. Like, you know, whatever, whatever the comments are, but it's just to really let people know that this is the girls that you're trying to get, but this is how they are. And this is most of the girls. It's that simple. It's not every single girl. You never have to feel offended and you won't feel offended if you know you're not that type of girl. The same way when people used to come at me for saying, saying things and saying, oh, you're just like these girls. I'm like, yo, like I know who I am. I'm just here to help you guys out, put some game on you guys, make life easier for you guys, try to have you see things from a different perspective. That's it. Okay, so moving on, I just want to give a big shout out to three comments that I've seen. Sorry if I missed your comment, but I really did check to make sure that I got everybody. But yeah, I just wanted to shout you guys out for checking if I was good. I am back at my home city right now. I'm going to be officially moving very, very soon. So I am back home and the timing was super, super bad. So I needed to be really, really quiet. Like it was just awful timing, but I needed to film because I'm like, I am posting. It was really bad timing, but I just really want to say I appreciate you guys for making sure that I was good checking up on your girl. I really watched that video. My energy was so low, but I'm sorry. Like I know I'm not going to give you bad contact. I know that video still helped people out. I just had to film and I had to be quiet, all right? So other than that, you guys know, make sure you check out my Patreon. The video's going on today and then I'm dropping another one this week. Yes, we're, we're just, we're just going to keep coming. We're just going to keep coming. Join that. And then lastly, of course, make sure you follow me on my social media and we can actually get into it. So good girl versus hoes. These are completely two different girls and it kind of gets mixed up a lot because some people like to put them in the same category. First off, because they want to say all girls the same. Now, I told you guys this, you have to have have to take in that if you're saying all girls are the same then all guys are the same you have to change your perspective on life on people on how things are why people are like this when your view changes you understand you'll start seeing true colors you'll see through people like all of that stuff and you'll realize like not every single person is the same you know not every alpha is all rude and stuff but you know he's a man you know there's these differences that you will really really learn throughout life so i have three major points on each side they're gonna obviously bounce on each other or bounce against each other whatever you want to say <laughs> i don't know a uh, gang sign sorry <laughs> but anyway so i'm gonna say the three things i'm gonna start with the good girls we're gonna go from the main thing on the good girl side and then we're gonna talk about the whole face and then discussion this is to help you guys know the difference between two girls two different kinds of girls out here and the ones that you should avoid is clearly the hoes okay you know what they say don't save her she don't want to be saved she's for the streets all that stuff is for the hoes first right? thing i have on my good girl side is went through things in the past and this is traumatic stuff this is stuff that you know broke her something like not having her father in her life because this is still stuff that i relate to 
too and i know a lot of females have the same situation so went through something in the past but always has a good heart now what happens is that yeah we go through stuff the good girls and i don't care what anybody says i know what type of person is a good girl and all that stuff so i definitely put myself in a good girl category this is somebody that has potential to be one day your wife okay one day be a good girlfriend one day not use you for the wrong reason and be like a great partner in life so when a good girl goes through traumatic things or experiences in the past it puts her in a place where she's hurting there's also a lot of things that they do behaviors that causes them to seem like oh you know you're a little off why are you acting like this why are you pushing me away why do you feel like you can't get too close why is your walls up all these questions are happening but it's all because of things in the past and this is so so true like i remember one time i was having a consultation and somebody was telling me yeah the girl going through so so much she wants me there but she doesn't know how to have me there where she's not opening up and stuff like that and i'm like that's what happens from your past you're carrying it on to the present and you're not able to let go so you can easily push yourself away but you won't even realize what's really blocking people out and that could be your partner your significant other that's just because of all that you have inside of you still like she's the one that's pushing me away there's a lot of stuff that you have to dig deeper when it comes down to this you guys okay so now let's move on to the whole side we'll use all men because she looks at them all the same now this is a problem good girl that got treated really shit didn't have her dad you know never had a father figure didn't really know how to get treated but got treated really really shit by an ex-boyfriend she's still hurting she's still feeling a lot of pain you know and that's why i say you do have to be careful because sometimes the way you do act you can't put it towards every single girl you kind of got to get to know people sometimes the way you end up acting thinking that she's a hoe you treat her like the way i've been saying treat these hoes then she ends up getting broken even more manipulating or you're trying to put them down or trying to make them do everything to get you and you know flipping things backwards because you have to do that against hoes against girls that are players right so you end up doing that to a girl that's broken it's just gonna break her even more manipulating or you're trying to put them down or trying to make them do everything to get you and you know flipping things back Backwards because you have to do that against hoes against girls that are players right so you end up doing that to a girl that's broken it's just gonna break her even more and that's why certain stuff happen like whole face or just you know basically just giving up and looking at men and hating them that's what happens with good girls but when you have a hoe she's just gonna look at you like i don't give a f that's all it is i look at you and all i see is money i see what i can get i see everything that's gonna be helpful for me and that's going to be you doing the things for me. And that's when I say, those girls are no good for you. You're not going to win with them. No matter what you're doing. Yeah, with the girls that are hoes, they're just going to look at every single man and be like, oh, I don't want nothing from you. I don't want no love. Watch how their demeanor is and how they really present themselves and carry themselves and what they say. A hoe is a hoe and a hoe will go from different dudes, different guys, and never feel any type of way, never want to catch feelings, never will catch feelings, ever okay but somebody that's a good girl you become a good man for her and she's gonna be falling for you you know everything that we've been trying to get in this world for relationships nowadays that we can't find now i'm not gonna do the last two i'm actually gonna do a part two this video is about to be already long but let's just finish up with these last two so she is around the wrong girls but stands out instead of getting caught up people that are the same hang around the same people that is very very true but here's what's also true one can just be there and you can tell the difference and you can also tell the difference between somebody that has a strong mind that grinds that hustles and is in a group where it's a bunch of lazy people they just have them learn how to break out of it and that's the same thing with a good girl you just find it there not enjoying the activities as much or trying to act as if she is or you know trying to just do it for the moment because there is no good guys out there for her at the moment you know so it's like yeah it's just happening you're like take this in it just happens that they're dealing with a lot of bad guys with these good girls they end up getting the guys that feel like oh she might be a hoe or looking at all girls as a hoe and gets treated as if she's a hoe just watch out for those girls that seem to be in a group but seem to be so different seem to be so intelligent smart not about that type of stuff but just got caught up in the wrong group now it goes back to hoes actual hoes this is what they do they lead or always promote promoting whole behavior that's the big difference you have the captain of the whole group 
you have the one that leads direct this is what you do this is your place you're gonna get that guy fuck that guy you don't want that one you're not gonna do nothing with him he's just gonna use you but you're gonna use him first like all this bull like it's all bs and it's so crazy because as young as i am when i look back at these things i just think like wow the only way i was ever able to not see things the same way as girls do see it like majority of them is because i had to find a really really good guy and I had to understand that I need to get close to myself, get closer to my spiritual self. And that's what happened. That's why I am who I am now. But if it wasn't for that, trust me, I would have been getting caught up with all these whole activities, doing things that I shouldn't have been doing for so long. So it's like the difference, you have the one that's just there in the group and she needs to find herself. And then you have the one that's literally leading and showing how to become a hoe. This video was long enough. I'll make sure to do another video. Please, please be on the lookout. Let me know what other videos you would like. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on my social media and my Patreon. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, you guys.